Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It's time for our daily devotional. No matter what time of the day that you have tuned in to listen to this devotional, it means it's your timing. It's the right time of the day. Because I believe that a word can be spoken straight to your heart when it's needed and in the right timing that God wants you to hear it for your life. We have been talking about our devotional really about prayer because God has really ignited me to be on a movement for prayer. Life is about prayer. My life is prayer. There's nothing that you can do in this life without having a direct communion with God. And that's really what prayer is, is knowing how to commune with God. Have you ever really been talking to someone and, you know, he's not getting it, you're not getting it, she's not getting it, uh, mom's not getting it, daughter's not getting it. It's because there is a communication deficit. They hear one thing, you are saying something, you're trying to convey your thought, they hear it another way, sometimes offenses come. You know, it's just a whole lot of stuff that can come into the art of communication because that's just what it is. It's an art. You got to know how to communicate and to whom you're communicating to and then you will understand how to convey your message, how to convey your heart, and the right words to use. Well, I believe that that's the model that Christ was giving his disciples. He called them all out one by one, and he gave them a model, and he gave them a roadmap and an instruction manual on really how to commune, not with God, but with our Father. Because we all was created as man and woman, male and female, in the likeness and in the image of God our Father. And that's where we have to understand as his children, how do I commune with my Father? How do I commune with the one who created me? Because I am a byproduct of him, and I am a reflection of him. So therefore, prayer is very, very important. We've been talking about it, and I have done some time and taken some time as a teacher, as a kingdom teacher, as a spiritual leader, as a life and relationship coach, and a spiritual mentor to many. I have to really be in tune with what the heart of the Father is saying, not just for my life, but for my sisters and my brothers. That's why he say pray in this manner, our Father, because that which he communes to me, and it actually work and has gotten results in my life. Now I want to share it with you because it'll get results in your life because we serve the same God and we all have the same Father. So in the Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6, uh, it talks about how not to pray like certain people in the synagogues and for public recognition. But change your mind and know that you're speaking to our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed will be thy name. The last time we had a devotional, I talked about hallowed. That really means to make sanctified, consecrate, make it holy in your heart. There's a sacred place in your heart that belongs to the Father. Oh my God, my biological Father is no longer on this earth. But I promise you, He lives within my heart. Death can't separate me from my biological Father. Death can't separate me from David Andrews because I am his daughter and I am a product and I'm working and I'm living example of his life. So it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual. So that's why hollow, sanctify his name, make sacred his name. And so in this daily devotional, we're going to really talk about name because that name really is not all the name of Jesus. It's not just the name of our Father. It's not just the name of God, but it's literally His authority, His character. Our Father has given us authority as His children, and we are to display His character. I'm going to bring it back home in the natural so you may understand it in the spiritual. I am David Andrews. I am the daughter of David Andrews. My Father gave me authority to carry his name, Andrews, when he birthed, when I, my mother birthed him, 
me and made and, and I am his daughter. So I carry his name. So the way that I carry his name and uphold the name of David Andrews is by exemplifying his character in my walk, in my speech. Just imagine, you know, we have just, for an example, uh, released or the, the, the country has been released from one of the outstanding presidents that I believe has ever lived. And that's Barack Obama. But if he wasn't nothing else more than a president, he was an epitome of a man who modeled as a father, as a husband, and his daughters, they represent him by upstanding, godly character. How would they look as his daughters if they was out in strip clubs and, and wearing floozy clothes or whatever? They wouldn't represent him well as being Barack Obama, the president of the United States. That's why character is so important. And what we do as his children, our Heavenly Father, I'm speaking of now, it's important that our character, our speech, our dress as his daughters are very important, not to impress anyone, but because I take pride in not only who I am, but whose I am, because I represent my father. So I admonish you today by the name, the authority, and the character that you have been given by our father, consecrate that. Make it holy. Sanctify it within your heart. And everything that you do today and from this day forward, deem it as done. Not only to God who has a, a, a hammer and ready to beat you. No, that's not where we're going. But unto a heavenly father who is the manufacturer of your life. And everything you do, you carry his name as your daughter. Well, that's our daily devotional for today. And I truly pray, pray that it blessed your life. Stay tuned for more. I am Dee Collins, and I am a Dunamis woman. God bless you.